Hello guys, welcome to a new tutorial. Here's a tutorial on how to like make a code computer and like you know a join room trigger so you can like yeah. So first um you're gonna like download uh, in my Discord server the join room trigger script and download the Unity package. Import that Unity package into your project. Just double click it and you know let me show you. Just double click this and then just import all. Once that uh here first we're gonna set up our photon new, like not completely new but like fix it up a little bit. We go to your photon VR manager and and if you're using pun still uh, go to your dashboard, uh, go create a new app, make it real time, and call it your game name and just create. Once that, uh, you're gonna copy your real time ID and paste it into your app ID right here. Like, make ev make sure everything's highlighted. If, it, if it's like this, then just click over here, just click back here, like that. Once that, uh, you're gonna like, you're gonna, if you don't have Pro Builder, go to Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry, search up Pro Builder, and you'll see here, just I install it and import all of these. Once that, you're gonna go to Tools, Pro Builder, Pro Builder Window, I already have it open. Then you're just gonna like, Game Object, uh, Pro Builder, and Cube. Just move this to your player, if you like don't have like a area like me. If you have an area like me, then just make a cube over here that just blocks everything over here. And that, and that will let you join. Just do the same thing that what I'm doing on these cubes, but over here if you have like a room like this or a stump. Once that, um, you're just gonna flip normals like this. Once that, you're just gonna call whatever you want. Then create a new layer. Uh, name this non collatable or non walkable. You can also just use water, but I just prefer having it like this because it's more like, you know, uh, like more, like more, uh, you know, like in control. So just add layer, add it over here, and then just go to your cube again and just add the layer. It's like more. You know. Then you're gonna go to your queue, convex, this trigger, add the join room trigger script, and then turn off mesh render so you cannot see it, you know. You can also just make one like I did over here, if you have like a stump, you know what I mean, like this. It does the same purpose, to be honest. And yeah, that's done, actually. I would recommend, like, sizing it up like this. But that's just a tutorial, so yeah. I'll just delete these because it's just a tutorial. Then, because you also imported my package, you can just go to your assets and go to your code computer by Banana Flix. Or whatever it is for you. The search up code computer by Banana Flix, so you'll find it. Then code PC, drag that in. It might not have textures. You know? If it doesn't have textures, just make a new material. Create material. And just make your own textures over here, like this. Look. Create material. Blah blah blah. Just let that create. And then just make a white or something and just put it on here. Once that, 
uh, you also may have to change the font to like something else instead of this. I'll show you how, like you're gonna go here and just set it to this font. Because this font you probably won't have, because this is uh, uh, my own one. Once that, you should be actually done. That should be your copy, so you can place it wherever you want. You can move the keyboard separately under here. Move the name on, move the monitor, like this. And that's it. Have a good day. Bye.